Dear supporters, I am reaching out to ask you for your help in taking Watch ACTV to the next level. With your generous donation to our GoFundMe campaign, we can make the crucial switch to a new platform that offers incredible benefits to both our network and our viewers. Firstly, the new platform allows for easy subscription via credit card and PayPal, making it accessible to viewers in international markets who were previously unable to join us. Additionally, we will be introducing a live component that will revolutionize how subscribers are able to engage with our content. Moreover, the new platform provides powerful marketing tools built right in, enabling us to reach a wider audience and to grow our community. And with this emphasis on community engagement, we'll be able to foster deeper connections with our viewers. A Connection TV. And to make this transition possible, we need to raise $6,000. Your donation will not only facilitate the platform switch, but will also offer a soft rebrand for our company, ensuring that Watch ACTV continues to evolve and thrive. Please consider contributing to our campaign and be a part of our journey towards a brighter future for Watch ACTV. Thank you for all of your support throughout the years, your comments, your tweets, your shares. They all mean the world to us here at Watch ACTV. Thanks again. What is going on, beautiful people? It's your boy, A. Westy from A Connection TV here on YouTube, the one place in the World Wide Web, but we actually adopt similar connections despite our differences. And welcome to my channel. If this is your first time seeing me, definitely follow me on all social medias, Twitter and Instagram, at A Connection TV. And let's get into it. Before I start, if you can do me a solid and like this video, hit that notification bell so that you know when I drop a new video. And I am here to talk to y'all about Love Island. Episode 30. I love the comments and I love the Twitter repost or post. And so at the end of this video, we're going to go over your comments on the last review and we're going to see what Twitter has to say. Let's get into it. We connect with Kendall and Nicole and some of y'all think that Kendall and Nicole are boring and that's just so crazy to me. I don't think that they're boring. I think that they've been tested. They prevailed. I think they've had their not in the hideaway. They prevailed. I think they've been tested again most recently with the Harrison situation. They prevailed. And they seem to always get back together. There seems to be fluid communication between the two. And there's a lot of genuine energy that's vibing and bubbling between them. So I don't know why people were having a hard time with seeing the two of them, but it just, it is what it is. They discuss how Harrison's speech was a little bit nerve wracking and how Kendall was really, really not un knowing what was going to happen. But what's interesting about this is that they didn't say what if, because according to what happened to Kane, Kendall could have been that person out. Or Rob could have been that person out. I knew Harrison was not going to choose the yellow foot. No way. No way. And I already felt like he was choosing Sierra. But still, like, any one of those men could have been out of the game, according to what happened to King. So I'm glad that Kendall's still in the house. I get to still look at his cakes. And, um, yeah, I hope that what they are building is real enough to survive the test of time. Yeah. Harrison and Sierra speak. He says he's looking for love. Daniela talks uh, saying Harrison and Sierra would look good on a yacht. And so she's talking to Rob and she's talking about how she's happy that Sierra and Harrison are together. In this moment, Rob is really like disconnected. Now, I don't know if he's tired because Cordell was yawning and yawning and yawning before they went to bed. So maybe he was tired, but Rob just seems so uninterested in anything that Danielle had to say in this particular moment. Miguel calls Leia Big Booty Betty and they have a moment and they kiss. And then Janae and Kenny have a moment and, you know, they have that little moment or whatever. You know what's interesting about Janae and Kenny? They remind me of the first mixed married couple that ended up in love is blind i think it was season one i cannot remember their names but the white man was fine as hell and the black woman was fine as hell i can't remember their names but they are still together today and i always wondered 
what the woman saw in the man. Yes, he was fine. And yes, he was charismatic. Actually, I can't say Kenny is that dude. That dude was very much grown, had energy, had somewhat personality. Kenny does not have a personality. But the, even re the reason why I brought them up is because I, when I look at, um, what are their names? Because I'm going to be, I'm going to be. I'm gonna be losing my mind about this. Lauren and Cameron from season one. Yes, Lauren and Cameron. They remind me of Janae and Kenny. And Cameron gave me more than what Kenny is giving me, but when I see them, that's what I see. I, that's all I got to say, because now I'm getting confused. They all go to bed, they all wake up, and everything is like honky-dory. The amount of happiness in this episode is just overwhelming. And I'm happy for everyone. Harrison and Sierra walk to their plates being on the dock. I'm sorry. I always wonder how cold this fool be when they finally decide to eat because who is walking to my plate of uncovered food on the dock? I'm not doing that. That was just so weird to me. I, I didn't understand what that was all about. It, it made no sense to me. Then we get Cordell and Serena gloving on each other, smooching on each other's mouths with each other's mouths. And I thought that that was awesome. And they're laid up body to body talking about meeting each other's parents. And Cordell is having a fun moment mocking or, or imitating, you know, Serena's dad. And I just, I hope that this is real. And I hope that they are real for each other, if that makes sense. But I'm loving it. I'm I'm really, really loving it. I'm happy for Cordell and I'm happy for Serena. Kayla and Nicole and Daniela talk about her and Aaron in her outside world, in the outside world. Um, she wants to try being boyfriend, girlfriend, but on the outside world. She's like, she's not gonna give in to it. Now she feels like she owes it to herself to stick up for herself. And she just, I don't know, saying it in the house means a lot to her. And she's not ready for that. Meanwhile, Rob and Aaron are off talking about how he's going to create this date, make it work. It's going to be awesome. And yeah, like that. It's interesting seeing the juxtaposition between the two. They get a text about sports day and the teams are team gold versus team pink. This is reminding me of the challenge. I love it. And I actually like that they're doing this in the villa. First team to go is Serena and Cordell versus Kenny and Janae. Serena and Cordell won. It seemed like they were going faster than Janae and Kenny. Janae and Kenny, well, Kenny was acting a plum fool. He was showing personality in this challenge. And it was nice to see. It was nice to see him act corny and act quirky. I thought that was dope. Daniela and Rob versus Kayla and Aaron. Uh, Daniela and Rob, they did the running thing across the water. That looked fun. I would love to do that. Kayla and Aaron win. Team Gold is in the lead. They won both beginning challenges. Then you have Harrison and Sierra versus Serena and Leia, which was interesting. I thought it would be Miguel and Leia, but Serena probably said she wanted her revenge against Harrison and Sierra because they kept throwing the ball at her because she was placed in the highest mark. I thought she was going to have a nasty attitude, but we didn't see that, so that was great. And Cordell looked like he was concerned because she was upset, so I'm glad that they got through that and Serena was able to seek her revenge at Harrison and get a couple blows in and so she felt better. It was kind of giving me sore loser, but I'm glad we didn't see any disgruntledness with her in the situation. Then we get Kendall and Cord... No, not Cordell. Kendall and Nicole versus Leia and Miguel in the paddle situation, the canoe situation. Kendall and Nicole wins, and they make it to the end, and they light their torch like it was the Olympics. I thought that this was really fun. I don't know if they did this in the prior seasons. I haven't had time to watch the other seasons, but I thought that this was really, really dope. And Nicole is clearly a competitor because she said like 17 times, oh my God, this is so amazing. This was the best moment ever in the villa and I love comp competing and made me feel like I was in the Olympics. Clearly, Peacock is the house for the Olympics or one of the houses for the Olympics. So she had to keep saying that. But I was like, okay, girl, you throwing it on mighty thick like Kayler's, Kayler's tears on every given situation. Team Pink ends up winning. Rob and Aaron talk about setting up the date. So they set up the date. 
Rob and Aaron have to sneak away from the house to get this done. I thought this was super dope, and I was really, really excited to see this kind of this kind of release of love or like energy for one other person. The surprise of it all was really, really dope. Aaron then is writing a poem and he doesn't know what to write. Rose are red, violets are blue. I just want to let you know that when I'm not around you, I think about you or whatever it was. He needs help with the poem. So he, or he just wants to engage with the guy. So he tells the guys about this. The guys are happy for him. And then we get the reveal. Now I'm going to tell y'all, this is the first time that I actually got emotional um, watching this show. And this is like good, heartfelt, awesome reality freaking TV. Love Island. I don't know if they've won any awards or whatever, but this show is really, really good. Love Island is for me is better than Love is Blind is better than Temptation Island. Like, this is a really, really good show because I actually felt something for these people. And I feel something for these people. So even though Aaron and Kayla are a bit much and I don't like to hear Kayla cry 24-7, Aaron is fighting tooth and nail within the realm of this show to really make it known that he cares for Kayla. And he wants Kayla to be his girlfriend. So the fact that he created this beautiful moment, this beautiful surprising date moment, asked Rob to be the butler, to wear the heartfelt boxer shorts, and Rob had no problem doing it. And I just thought that this was so magical, so Disney, so amazing. And I know Kayla is gushing and, and falling head over heels for this man because he has taken the opportunity um, to do this. And it wasn't like asked for and so Kayla is loving it I'm loving it and what made me get emotional was the fact that he did make the meal it was his idea and he he had the poem and the poem was just super super lush lushful and dope and I was just like wow this is really good this is so awesome I was like oh my eye got a little watery and I was like bro this is a good ass fucking television and in that moment I just know that Kayla is so freaking overjoyed and then we have Janae and Kenny going on the docks and they have their little Cameron and Lauren moment and you know Kenny says I want us to close it off so not only was the Kayla and Aaron thing beautiful but the Janae and Kenny situation where he's helping her lift up the dress so she can walk across the dock. By the way, Janae is so freaking beautiful in this white or ivory dress. I just thought both scenarios were so romantic and so awesome. It was great to freaking watch. It was good quality TV. And then to have everyone on the lower level cheer for Janae and Kenny and then cheer for, you know, Aaron and Kayla. I just am loving the love displayed on my TV screens. And to be honest, this is the first love reality show where the love actually, the light actually feels like love and it feels so authentic. A lot of y'all are saying that Rob and Diella aren't a thing. And to me, they aren't because Rob is not even really feeling that the Daniela thing will work in real life. So I get that. Harrison and Sierra are really, really fresh. A lot of y'all are rocking with Cordell and Serena because they've been together since day one, but that been together was a forced together situation. So I don't really count the earlier on days. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't, it was what? It was episode 16 or 17 that she left him on the dance floor. So a lot of y'all like, they've been together since day one. I feel like they were never together until so Serena actually realized that she cared about him and that she liked him a lot. And I think that was maybe two days before or three days before they went to, you know, Casa. But I love where they are now and I'm rocking with that. But I say that to say that that does not negate the feelings of Nicole or the feelings of Kenny um, with Janae or with Kendall just because they weren't day oneers. So I don't know. I'm just loving the show. I'm loving the energy display. And I think that it's amazing that this show actually exists. At the end of it all, Janae and Kenny ends up being able to go to the hideaway because they want their group color won the sports day and the group decides that Janae and Kenny need to go to the hideaway. So I'm happy that Janae and Kenny get to go to the hideaway. Janae got a fat booty and she's just a beautiful girl. And Kenny just seems like a likable, nice 
guy. Even Janae said that Kenny was boring, but I know she meant that in like a loving way or a liking way. But I mean, he is Cameron to her Lauren. That's just a great analogy for me. Anyway, let's get into the comments and let's get into Twitter. All right, all right, let's get into your comments. Let's go, let's go, let's go. So, Vip Norvob says, Serena and Cordell are the only OG couple that have been together since day one. Even with ups and downs, they're still together. I'm rooting for them. Nicole says, the dress that Nicole wore on her date with Harrison kind of looks like a dress I've seen Liv wore in a previous episode when Leia called her over to clear the air on who sent Andrea home. Uh, Kava says, Harrison said classy. I knew she was talking about Sierra. Um, and Strickler, 1030, shout out to the homie. He is always, 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 always leaving comments in the video. Shout out to you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yo, you had me laughing so much when you said Serena wouldn't share with Cordell. I enjoy their banter, however. I am skeptical if Serena truly likes him. I have been team Cordell since day one. Want him to find his person. I agree 100% on your top three females. Sierra is so damn gorgeous. I don't know why, but I tend to like younger guys, but my top three are Cordell, Miguel, and Kendall. I appreciate you, man. Huge supporter. Much love. Shout out, shout out, shout out to you. Appreciate that. Thank you so much. Another person has been leaving a lot of comments that I recognize, DWorks 32B. I enjoy your review, and I agree with a lot of the things you say. I'm an older person, so maybe that's why I can see things from your version. Uh, yes, shout out to the old, older club. I'm in my 40s, so baby, shout out to y'all. Yeah, hey, 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 if we in the same age. I don't know. First of all, I am Team Cordell all the way, as am I. I want him to win. I do too, even though he doesn't need the money. Uh, not that much for Serena, but definitely Cordell. Since they're a couple, I have to go with him. She better split the money with him too, because like you said, I can see her keeping the whole thing. It's a thing. It's a vibe. Like, We've been vibing that way about Serena. I love Love Island. I've been watching it for years. Love Island UK has been out longer. You should watch the UK version. It's on Hulu. This US version is one of the best I've seen. The US usually has a lot more diversified people. Um, there's lots more to say, but we don't have the time. Talk to you later. Shout out to you. Thanks for the comment. Uh, shout out to Jennifer. Uh, Harrison could pull any woman he wanted, but I knew he would pick Sierra. They look beautiful together and no one cared about Kane. They only had his ass five minutes to get out. Mm. All right. Uh, Kathy, I agree. Daniela can go. Uh, Harrison is fine, but his face doesn't match his body. No shade. When I saw Daniela keep that bra on, the fury that coursed through my veins. Oh my God, I'm not the only one. I don't know why that pissed me off. Kendall is ick personified. I like most of these people. Uh, I feel like most of these people are going to dump each other, dump each other the second the winner is announced out of the crew. I actually see Serena and Cordell or maybe Janae and Kenny being the only ones that will last over a year. Interesting. Shout out to you, uh, Yari. Yarian Balagar, I think. 8288. Um, shout out to Afro1233. What is your issue with Serena? I'm rooting for Serena and Cordell. And I'm sure the black and brown community is also rooting for them. Like y'all hate us. So I did read this comment beforehand, and this was my response, okay? I'm not sure who y'all is, and my favorite is Janae, who is black, Cordell, who is black, and Kendall, who is black. Serena, just like how she had to learn to like Cordell, I have to learn to like her, and it's simple, my thing with Serena has never been because she's black. My thing with Serena is because she been play, she played Cordell from the beginning. And y'all could have the the opinion of like negating that and looking past that and thinking that she's so great and all that. That's cool for you, but it takes time for me. So we are on Twitter and this is just so awesome. Y'all love you some Cordell and Serena. I honestly think that they are winning. If it is left up to the public, Cordell and Serena are winning. Cordell is an amazingly looking brother. Like he is well put together. He really is a clean looking guy. Uh, very sexy. Cordell really came to Love Island as a boy. 
and will be leaving as a man. This season has truly got so big. Not the total drama inspired Serena and Cordell with the fight audio. All right, let's see. Aaron, Rose are red, violets are blue, America. I got emotional with I got emotional with the uh the poem. I thought it was really, really dope. Kenny's reaction to Janae is so real. Yeah, Janae stepping down them steps. Man, she is a baby. Yes, she is. She a baby. What? Janae looks so freaking good, and Kenny just, like, knew he hit the jackpot. Shout out to the producers for letting the pink team decide who goes in the hideaway because nobody wanted to see Aaron and Kayla in there. Um, I think I'm blessed to find you. Uh, the way everyone automatically got happy for Janae and Kenny and forgot Aaron, girlfriend proposal, I don't think it was that like that. Janae and Kenny planning double dates with Serena and Cordell. Oh, my ships are taking it. I love it. That was awesome. Them escorting me off the villa premises after I pretended to be a lampshade while Janae and Kenny were in the highway. Uh, I love this girl. And I love Janae, too. Like, Janae is all about Janae for me. I love her. I love her. I love her. I love her. Rob does not like Daniela. I don't think he does either. Kenny and Janae, a.k.a. Kane fans, to the Love Island producers after this episode. Kenny and Janae. What? What is this? What's going on? Love Island USA community on Reddit. I don't get it. I don't I don't get it. Oh, they dapping each other up? Okay. How I start the app, app with Nicole and Kendall. Okay. All right. I'm so glad Miguel and Leah suck so bad in the sports day challenge so Aaron wouldn't get it. Divine intervention. Janae and Kenny are officially closed off. Kayla and Aaron thought that they were going to be the hideaway to the hideaway. Production said not. Nah. Um, I don't think it was like that. Heart rate challenge confirmed for Monday. Now when I say Leia raises Rob and Miguel's heart the most and then Daniela raises Aaron's then what? Ooh. Uh, I want my own Kenny. Uh, and then the last one. Did you do this? Girl, all he did was spend out, spread out five flower pillows on a pillow. I thought that their situation was really, really dope. And I thought that it was heartfelt. So I'm not sure why people are clowning Aaron and Kayler, but I'm here for it all day long what do you guys think about that shout out to you guys for leaving comments and what do you think about what twitter has to say what couple did you vote for i voted for janae and kenny i really did uh after this episode i would have voted for cordell and serena i think what they have is dope and i think everyone is in a great place except for harrison and sierra and rob and the other leave your comments below thank you guys for watching this is